a racing simulation game that looks gorgeous and feels realistic, there's a reason why so many players love Assetto Corsa. Players who don't want to stick with a pure arcade experience will have a great time with this title. It's a great game for fans of open world racers, featuring a ton of interesting and unique locales to explore. It also helps that the game itself has some great cars that make it a blast to explore this world every single time. Beaming Drive is a racing simulation game that is an absolute joy to play. Crashing a car in this game is more satisfying than frustrating because of how realistic and fun the damage mechanics of the car are. The user-made content ensures that players will be able to sink a ton of hours into this game. Beam and G Drive might be one of the more hardcore games on this list, but players who get into this early access title will have a great time indeed. Forza Horizon 5 doesn't try to reinvent the wheel, offering a similar core gameplay experience to its predecessor, Forza Horizon 4, but with an entirely new map. Forza Horizon 5 is set in a fictional representation of Mexico on a wonderfully diverse map with a vast range of different biomes for players to explore. Forza Horizon 5 was a huge hit with fans and critics, exemplified by its 92 critic score and 8.2 user score on Metacritic. The game also performed exceptionally well at end-of-year award shows, picking up numerous accolades, including Best Sports Racing Game at the Game Awards. Even with all the love that Forza Horizon 5 has received as one of the best open world racing games ever made, many people feel like the previous game in the series was better. Forza Horizon 4 brought many welcome changes to the formula, while tightening the racing gameplay to perfection. The result is a fantastic racing game that lets players enjoy the lush environments of Great Britain, featuring a wealth of landmarks that look amazing as the seasons change. It's one of the best open world racing games that any fan should try if they want a spectacular, no-nonsense driving game where speed is king. The Crew 2 was released on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox in June 2018. The game differentiates itself from most other racing games with the variety of vehicle types on offer. Along with a plethora of cars and motorbikes to choose from, players can also drive boats and planes. The goal of the game is to become a success in the four vehicle disciplines, pro racing, street racing, off-road, and freestyle. The Crew 2 was nominated for Best Racing Game at the Game Critic Awards in 2018, though it lost out to Forza Horizon 4. With each entry in the series pushing the series to new heights, it's clear that Ubisoft has an absolute gem on its hands that can transform into something magical if it continues to build upon this solid foundation. Most people had assumed that Ubisoft had given up on the crew, despite the understated brilliance of the second game. Thankfully, fans were proven wrong with the release of The Crew Motorfest, which is a great title for fans of open-world racing games to check out. Players explore the faithfully recreated Hawaiian island of Oahu, which makes for some exotic racing backdrops and beautiful visuals. It may not be groundbreaking by any stretch of the imagination, but the Crew Motorfest is a great title with solid racing mechanics that deserves all the praise it gets.
Riders Republic is an open-world extreme sports game developed and published by Ubisoft. In this game, players can experience various sports in a vast open world. You'll have the opportunity to explore sports such as skiing, snowboarding, cycling, and skateboarding. The game features a massive map that includes iconic U.S. national parks, offering numerous activities. Among these activities are various mountain biking events, including the famous Red Bull Rampage. Originally released in 2008, Burnout Paradise Remastered is a racing game defined by destruction. Smash the No 2 to speed up or smash your opponents in this high energy arcade racer designed to allow you to cruise for hours on end in Paradise City. The game handles very well and has some cool visual effects like the screen shaking or showers of sparks shooting up behind your vehicle as you tear up the city streets. You'll find yourself not only driving a car, but also switching to a motorcycle from time to time. The game also features multiplayer and a versus mode called Cops and Robbers. Many fans of racing video games feel that the genre has stagnated. It's a fair criticism as the genre features many games that look the same and don't really bring anything new to the table. So it's refreshing to see that Need for Speed Unbound has decided to integrate a unique look and style into the visuals. These help the game stand out and look fresh in a genre overpopulated with titles that all use similar aesthetics. In fact, the cel-shaded visuals and 2D smoke trails in Need for Speed Unbound look so unique that some fans of the racing genre actually find this visual change to be jarring, which is a testament to how stagnant the racing genre has become in modern times. The racing in Need for Speed Unbound is solid, and exploring the open world is a blast, even if the grind to get new cars can be a bit grating for some players. Originally released for the PS4 and Xbox One, Need for Speed Heat is an open world racer which features a day and night mode. During the day, you can partake in sanctioned races allowing you to earn money to purchase new cars. At night, you can take part in illegal street racing which earns you a reputation to purchase new gear. Both times of day are switchable and are not dynamic. The game also features an app allowing you to customize your cars from your phone. The game looks like a really fun arcade racer, but perhaps a little dead when it comes to the population of the world. Either way, the racing bit is top notch. Japanese Driftmaster is a drift game set in Japan. Played in an open world format in a lakeside town, the game allows you to earn money from events and invest in different cars. The game's atmosphere and car sounds are quite well done. With a satisfying variety of vehicles, it could be a game that provides enjoyable gameplay for a long time. Japanese Driftmaster offers kilometers of different roads inspired by real and well-known locations. Explore the tourist spots around Lake Haikama test your skills on downhill slopes of mountain passes or slide sideways through densely urbanized sections of the city. Additionally, you can personalize your car and enjoy the taste of Japanese modification style.
Racing games have been embracing more open world concepts for a while now, and Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is going to be one to look out for in 2024 as a result. The game intends to bank on the modern advances in technology to grant you the best experiences possible. You'll get to play the game your way in terms of how you look, the cars you drive, and how you drive them. You can focus on the championships that are out there, or you can go and just drive around Hong Kong Island in order to just hang loose. You can even bring your friends in and race with them. With a bunch of cars and places to drive, you'll definitely like this title.